Iowa is giving back $95 million in pandemic aid for schools to the feds. Governor Reynolds defended the decision during a Fox News town hall last night. I think he thinks the COVID just started. I just returned $95 million because they sent an additional $95 million to the state of Iowa to get our kids black in the classroom by doing surveillance testing. And I said, we've been in the classroom since August. Yeah. Here's your $95 million back. That money was supposed to be used for surveillance testing in Iowa schools. The $95 million was part of the money allocated in President Biden's American Rescue Plan passed last month. Governor Reynolds says Iowa does not need that aid since students have been back in the classroom here since last late late summer. While it's true most schools reopened in August, Des Moines schools did not open until October. Now, we are just learning that the Iowa Department of Public Health sent a letter to the CDC last Friday confirming that the funds were sent back. The department says Iowa has Apple ample funding and testing capacity for Iowa school districts. The IDPH letter also breaks down how much federal money Iowa schools have yet to use for coronavirus testing. The first elementary and secondary emergency school relief or ESSER fund was passed in 2020 under the first CARES Act. Right now that still has six and a half million dollars to use. The second was passed last December and the third was passed in March. Overall, they report more than $1.1 billion is available to test through the Iowa Department of Education. Now, state health officials say they'd accept the money if it could be used in a different way, maybe like vaccine distribution. But since the pandemic, beginning of the pandemic, Governor Reynolds has been a staunch advocate of getting kids in the classroom. Earlier this year, she signed a law requiring schools to offer full-time in-person instruction.